Hello everyone and welcome oh to the RuneScape rest of year roadmap reveal for 2024. Yep, the time is finally here. We are in the studio. Mod Hooli has come a and very, live. very long way. <laughs> we are live. We are live in the studio, ready to drop a bunch of I haven't seen Mod Hooli in like okay. two so, years. Thank you so much for rocking up to the stream, interrupting <laughs> Expect your to be DVD disappointed. <laughs> whatever skilling you were doing, I saw you Hello, in the Maria. chat. It's so lovely to have okay, you like here. Okay, I'll make a ladder. Yeah, it definitely is. Look, it's... We know this Good has been uh, a, a few months of time with no real longer view ahead. Uh, we know that's something yes. you've really wanted to see, and so we're not going to mess around today. This isn't a summit. Give it to stream. us. We're, this is more of us getting on camera, wanting to be out there in front of all of you, and answer your desires for a roadmap in person, or as in person as we can get at least. Yeah. From I have point. my checklist ready, so, Jagex. We're going to spend a quick five you better minutes hit, providing a bit of context on you what's better coming hit up, the top and then we're going to get right into it. We're talking full roadmap reveal, all in one, within the first fifteen minutes of the show. Then Thank we're God. going to get into a discussion to provide some more details on what to expect from the content we announced. So we don't want to keep you waiting any longer than we have Man, to. Look. I'm devastated because the Say Roadmap one more time, Doomgun meme is dead in like 10 minutes. And it's <laughs> look how parting absolutely it is. So I know. sleek and dapper so Mod Doom meme. looks right now. Say goodbye. But seriously, Skate, they are uh, so serious. Meant a lot to us, and we're really grateful for you joining us here today. So, tornado with that said, we said partner. We God, I don't it. know if that's something you want to be partners. We have someone to introduce you to first. Uh, we're going to open with a new guest. I'm going to say a quick hello to Mod Marcus. Mod Marcus, hello. Do you want to give us a little introduction? Who are you? Hello there. Yeah, so I'm Mod Marcos. Um, so for the last couple of years, I've been the executive producer on Old School RuneScape, and recently I've begun Bro. working on RuneScape 2. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Fantastic. So the immediate question is, I was about to say, there ain't no way they brought an old school dev to talk about here? RS3, Me. but apparently so he's working uh, on RS3 I've been too. working okay. with the team, so in particular with a focus on the, the general mission to try and make RuneScape a lot more player centric and how we develop the content. Um, it's just something that the team's been working on in quite a meaningful way over, um, over recent times in the last year or so. And one of the other goals of me working with the team is to try and bring over some of the best practices from old school uh, okay. to RuneScape where that's kind of appropriate. And today's kind of the start. Of Interesting. Really. So, uh, old school over the last couple of years, we've been trying to make an effort to have quite a degree of transparency around like, upcoming roadmaps. We've been talking to players, okay. like, you know, six months or so in advance. I'm so glad that the, the RS3 dev and team we want to do something similar here. Took to that into Skate, account. Uh, sorry, old because they've been, been so transparent with the, uh, us. The summits we mm -hmm. do twice a year. Fantastic. Well, so that really, especially means for the first that half of this year, to some some pretty decent visibility. So, what can we expect in terms of announcements? How far ahead are we looking to give? players' visibility into our content plans. Yeah, so the announcements the team will be talking about today will be going through to the end of 2024. Um, and apart from some smaller updates, which will be more like quality of life improvements or more opportunistic things, this will be pretty much everything we're releasing for the rest of the year. Um, when we get to RuneFest in September, we'll be looking to make, as part of our keynote, we'll be announcing like the key beats for 2025. Um, and then okay. it's also, um, yeah, uh, definitely. after that, we'll be looking to move towards something again, more similar potentially to old school, where there's like a summit type format where we'll be doing roadmap reveals on a more regular basis. So a couple of times a year, I would imagine we're still exactly finalizing how that's going to work. Um, and then also it's probably also worth highlighting that after this, um, live stream, we'll be sending out the, um, uh, the RuneScape survey, which will be similar to what we've been doing of old school for quite a few years now. And that's yes. a kind of like long form survey, which allows players to give detailed feedback on firstly, what they think of the roadmap we're really Give today, the also feedback. Kind of updates. And that will allow us to work with the team and figure out like what the most popular updates will be in the future that the players are most excited about. Yeah, really exciting. And especially to hear things like summits and everything being something we're looking forward to. Uh, we'll have more on that survey and some other opportunities to add your voice to our content development uh, to detail later in the show, so stick around for that. Um, speaking of which, kind of what can player expects, players expect from us this year in terms of how we'll operate? What does this all player influence development stuff actually mean? Well, yeah, good question. So, uh -huh. um, again, it'll be I'm similar falling to asleep. We'll be taking pieces of the process that work well, well with old I'm school. I'm falling asleep from all the... around, like, player consultation. Freaking part more of the development, development team talk. Where's Just the updates? When we're um, uh, looking at potential updates and ideas we've got, we're talking to the community about it earlier on. Um, and we're also looking to make sure there's much more regular dialogue with the players in terms of more regular blogs. Uh, hopefully, best do more live streams and things as well. Don't get me wrong; um, I am glad then, that yes, they not just roadmaps, want it to the general, communicate like, more. The level of discussion with the players. But you know, there's a saying: show, don't tell. Increase. Show that you're communicating um, more. Just to be don't clear, just tell though, us you're doing it. I've seen some chat about this on Reddit and stuff previously. <laughs> we won't be taking the polling system from old school. That's an old school, unique thing, really. 
um, but we will be much more using things like Discord discussions, blogging, um, and the survey that I've just mentioned earlier as part of um, informing our decision making. So it's much better aligned with kind of what players want from the roadmap and things as well. Yeah. So coming into this, we've we've. I think it's fair to say that when we've spoken they're to They're telling us the how they're going to do it. That we provided much less forward visibility on our content plans. Yeah. And things have felt a little bit more sporadic. My God. Um, and we've really heard that from the players. And so we want to make sure that that's something we're putting a lot more focus and attention on. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So um, what we're ultimately looking to do is move the game towards just a much more regular release of cadence of content. So you'd be looking at a more a meaningful piece of content going into the game each month, and that would be uh, holy frick! We have five thousand people like watching. Piece of content rather than something ephemeral like a temporary event or something. Mm -hmm. So generally, we'd be looking to make sure there's something meaningful going into the update each month, and then during the other weeks, we'll be looking at smaller, more opportunistic updates to make sure that there's just a much more regular beat in terms of like meaningful updates going to the players. Um, and then we're also looking at trying to find ways to bring more of like the community hit list improvements and things into the roadmap on a regular basis as well. So again, that'll be working closely with the community and CM and so on to kind of deliver that. Mm. Okay. Look, I, I think all really good stuff. We want to get to the roadmap. Uh, we've got a yeah, content oh, hungry audience out there, but I think there, in chat. <laughs> yeah, we see, we see you chat. However, I think there is one really important question to ask you. You know, we've seen this real fear out there that you know this is a game. 23 years into life that we all deeply love. And there's this fear that, is it being wound down? Did Are I we going to some sort of maintenance mode it? towards kind Hopefully of a, a less content driven, eventual death maybe even. Can you assure players that that's not RuneScape's current trajectory? Because I think it's really important to the wait, audience. Wait, wait, about what? Uh, yeah, death? so I can, I can categorically say RuneScape is not in maintenance mode. Like it's extremely oh. <laughs> important to like me, the team, Jagex as a whole. Um, and I hope yeah. you feel that from a the lot of people we're, we're today, saying that, but um, yeah, it doesn't make sense. There's a lot of life in the game, and we've got a lot of ideas around where Maintenance it can go. Maintenance mode and like, is the uh, last really cool ditch that option. That all the players will enjoy give away your cash cow like that. And from a personal perspective, I've worked at Jagex for like many years now. So I joined uh, way back in the day in like the early Jurassic era, and I think that it was. Um, <laughs> uh, and I've worked uh, 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 many, many years ago on RuneScape. Worked from RuneScape for a number of years, and then went on to some other projects before going back to old school. And now I'm obviously back on RuneScape. Um, and from my personal perspective, the game means a lot to me. Like I've spent a lot of my life working in it. It's quite close to my heart. And I want to see it kind of thriving and successful, obviously, for many, many years. And I'm ambitious for the game in the same way as I was when I began working on Old School a few years ago. Like, I want to see it be really awesome. successful and grow over a number of years. They better be hiring more developers. Uh, in particular, um, yeah. uh, we want to be, obviously, as always, that with, would with the be... what's made them successful is their connections to the community and being really Th close that, to That's the, the thing that doesn't make sense needs, with what they're saying. And making sure we're kind of embodying that spirit as well as possible. Like, they're saying one um, thing... And but they're not the, doing the, the other thing. This year like, has been essentially like they have like no developers kind of on like, RS3, uh, and they're not exactly hiring more. So it's just kind of like it's just confusing. Like to this point where we how how are they going to put out this content if they have like kind of five developers on, on RS3? All the players really like it. Yeah, and I know you're a big believer in action and not words. And obviously, we're talking to you Simp today to gifting about our on a company channel. Very much. Hopefully, the roadmap will be a first showing in that. <laughs> that is impressive. We'll gifting to a corporation. Um, yeah. I'm sure a lot of players out there, at the very least, are very happy to hear that. So, Marcus, thanks so much for taking time to be here at the open of the show. Okay. Really appreciate you joining us. Uh, for anyone who would like a deeper insight and would like to kind of keep this conversation going, um, we'll be sitting down on a Discord stage, uh, Marcus and I, uh, on Friday. Uh, to dive into all those details a bit more. So we didn't want to kind of get in the way of getting the content roadmap out to you uh, too late into the show, but it will be a conversation we'd, be, we'd love to continue with you on Friday if you're interested in going behind the scenes. All right. Okay. Huli is Moment. officially the CEO of Yap. He can talk. <laughs> Moment of truth. I'm not going to finish that analogy. He can talk. Let's get to the roadmap already. Chat is going crazy. Uh, it sounds like a plan, yeah. It's I bad mean, when you get jealous. So uh, let's start with yeah, you definitely, uh, what we've already announced. A little, a little bit as yeah. a treat. It's yeah, definitely let's start, very... Let's start with a couple a pillars. Um, so here we go. No more yapping. Oh, God, oh we're actually yapping. doing this. Okay. I'm going to go over okay. what you know as quickly the, the as I can. The two things that they put really down, we this. already know. Okay. Like that, right. Osseus, the fourth doesn't matter. matriarch, is dropping on May 28th. That's, That's not the roadmap. That's Tuesday because there's a bank holiday. That was already I'm announced. Sorry. The, Osseus the, comes the with a very small quest thing, where you uncover the, the archaeology. Then it's down to fighting a new mid-level boss with your newly acquired necromancy powers. It looks awesome. Then, Let's in June, we're also dropping the Demonheim archaeology site, which is two new locations in which you'll uncover a bunch of artifacts uncover mysteries and even get a new relic power and then of course oh. the other bits that you know already we've okay, got like the beach coming power. up instead of a brand new summer that, event that usually this means before. buff and to combat we've got some extra stuff buff to PBM. but now let's get on to the bits you don't know let's show some new stuff new wow we got the first pillar coming up straight away so we got some really exciting what stuff to come this summer 
Our new boss dungeon, the dungeon? Sanctum of Rebirth, is a spin on an elite dungeon where you will take on three unique bosses across both normal and hard difficulties. What is that hmm. spin? Instead of traversing through areas packed with mobs to get to the boss fights, you'll go straight from boss fight to boss fight. This is pure that's like raids, bossing, right? front to back. That, that's, Expect that's basically what raids was. five weapons. Tier 95s. Maybe something beyond that, too. Oh. Also on that front, uh, we've okay. also got new skilling content on the way for mining and smithing. Tier 95s and maybe more. Now, we know have been asking us for more reasons to use existing skills. So we're putting Probably a concerted not. I doubt they're going to go tier More regular releases for our skills. In our mining and smithing release, we'll new, release Wait. new ores to mine, new bars Wait, to Wait, they're create, doing another mining and smithing and update? Wait, what? <laughs> and yes, even something that I was going to say right now, but I'm going to say for the devs later on. Stay tuned for our chat afterwards. Where, uh, okay, we'll the, the city of Omtas. And the, and the and new necromancy thing. That's a part of skills. Necro Part 2. Okay. So, separate to those releases, people in chat are already talking about it. You're getting right. ahead of me. How dare you? Look, I'm just going to say it right now. If you guys look at my thing, asking for it for my a list, very long time. they actually yes, hit all three. City of look at the top of my what to expect. They actually hit all three of them in that one slide. Necromancy Part 2, additional skills to 120, and more PVM. Is finally getting filled in. I'm, I'm, I'm already. Rejoice. I gotta give them credit. They you already hit all three, three, oh, three of those things you, if you in insist. one slide. Okay, what else do they have? <laughs> this autumn, we'll be releasing our second ever skilling boss. New skilling boss. This skilling oh my boss God, we called it we in the baked fish brain. The sanctum of Reba. We called we're it. Still in the early stages. Okay, we didn't really call it, but we just said we, we said we would like skilling bosses. I have plenty of plans to discuss how we're going to approach this skilling boss. The new Slayer monster, plus necromancy Slayer helm upgrade. Okay, good. I don't know. Wait to chat to you about this one. That's good. Uh, just to jump in as well. That We've really shouldn't be like there. a it's big update. It's not content, update, but it's but Runefest. Could not mention it on the roadmap quickly. So Absolutely. No, actually, out to Runefest. never mind. It is an update. Back on the content train, we've <laughs> also got a new story quest this autumn, which is going to be picking up from Requiem good. for a Dragon. I have to say four, because if I say of more a Dragon, I'll get told off. More Master Quest We'll be venturing into the Sanctum and learning more Maria, about this new skilling boss. That's what happens when you get when you get a living cape, like Master Quest cape. There's just going to be requirements like every single month. We're going to be a bit cheeky. You're going to lose it every month. We've got an update we're going to hide to the end. You'll get why when you see it. I promise this is not a major update moment. There are no major update moments coming here. Uh, I'm sure chat's still going to go full of O on this anyway, but uh, there is something we're going to show you right at the end of this. We're not waiting to the end of the show, just to the end of this okay. roadmap reveal. So let's, let's go to the next pillar. Update to fletching we and those wood cutting. Earlier? Well, yeah, we're, we're going we're to jump in here with another reason. Halloween. Wood huh. cutting and fletching are going to be getting another one. This one's further out than mining and smithing, so we're light on details. Trust us on this. Let us cook. Please, chat. <laughs> let me cook. But it'll add a similar style of content here, too. Skilling content for skillers. What a win. And, of course, the most powerful time of the year, when my power reaches its absolute limit. The, the happiest time of year. <laughs> it's Halloween! It's getting the seasonal event treatment. We're talking season quest, event hub, memorable characters, a whole oh, that, bunch that's of good. spooky feelings. So let me just say... I got all dressed up like this, and it's nothing to do with Halloween. I was very so confused be even more over the top <laughs> that they were going to do another mining we'll smithing and then not a wood cutting and fletching, but now it makes sense. They're doing both. Oh, so it makes sense. But I was like, why, why would they update so mining something again so before woodcutting? But behind. they're doing both. So okay. I'm looking forward to that one. You get the next pair as well. Oh, I'm, get, I'm getting the hidden winter, thing. Winter, new quest. And then in winter 2024, not winter Ball 2017, Rock? all five or six weeks of what winter's going to be. And then more it's Christmas happened, season. So like okay. Now, so hopefully we're not back in winter too quickly. I but mean, that's... We're going to be dropping another look, story quest. That doesn't sound like so much for winter, but it already sounds like there's enough and coming from probably going the new bosses that we're probably still look. decently... <laughs> and then finally, we've got the return of the beloved Christmas Village from decently 2023. Now that we've invested Full some time in setting up our beloved hub for then. Christmas, our efforts here are going to be some small updates, new rewards, Another new seasonal quest. You complain, but you'll get them the treatment you before the P Next word is done. Yes, you definitely will. Events rolling on from here on out. Yeah, I think it's a really important point. That's why we set up those hubs. We also heard your feedback as well about that balance that Marcus also talked to as well. So that's really cool. Look, we've uh, almost reached the end of the roadmap. We have one last reveal There's to make. There's more? Uh, before we do, I just want to say a big shout out to the uh, team behind this. There's a lot of heart and soul that's been poured into this roadmap and a lot of listening to what you might want to see a real focus on variety. And we hope the work that's gone into making sure this is significant content paired with kind of other smaller releases that you also care about comes through. 
Uh, as this, as I mentioned, that kind of this is, real this push is push definitely push more than I thought they, they were going. There is that I'll one last that. spot to fill in on the picture, though. I, I uh, think and, chat. Okay. What is the last chat? Brace yourself. I'm excited to see what you think. I'm, uh, I'm going to be intrigued to see how many folks in chat have already got this. We, you call me the Appian one. You're keeping them on ten X. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's drop the reveal. Roll it. What are they doing? So here it is. What is this? Boom. You oh, are getting what? a brand new really? mode. Later this year, we will launch Group Iron Man God, they, for RuneScape. God, they this need to fix the player avatars. Oh my God, but and really? re-experiencing RuneScape with only your blood, okay. sweat, and tears to get okay. you through. We are so excited to deliver this long-requested game your mode intrigue? 10 years this after is the release of the this original is Iron definitely Man interesting. And uh, I hope you are all I said this very before, excited to go really. They would have to do some custom well. editing for this. I've just seen one How would I trade like my, no, you know, my augmented crypto so between bad. each other? Systems, They'd have to make it tradable between the players. Let's get some groups That's the only way to do it. If anyone had that on their bingo card, I would be shocked. They must have done it because look, look, Look at the guy in the middle who's wearing Virtus we'll, we'll with an augmenter on it. But there it is. So they must that's, have made the, the augmenter tradable. Because if it's not, then oh, that's, that's oh, like oh, it freaking silly. Oh. Chat is mad fun right now. Oh. And that's the chat we love to see. Look, we, we are super glad this got you hyped. Uh, this is something we were also co uh, excited to commit to when we kind of put this together. But Group Iron Man is... We hope what we showed today made that wait a little less painful. We know it was a wait and we know uh, at times Definitely. it was frustrating. But, uh, Hopefully definitely, you're really excited about what we're definitely, delivering for the I rest think of the year. We are really excited very about fun it. We're twist really, really proud Man. of this one. We hope this feels like a great uh, roadmap for all of you as well. Absolutely. And obviously, we said you were going to have a look at the roadmap. You've got to look at it. Don't go anywhere. Please stick around. There's still a lot that we want to talk about. We're going to be chatting with some of the developers from the RuneScape team. We're going to be going across different styles okay. of updates to drop some extra insights as we go. This is and more than you expected. And then we'll be you know about yeah. how you can contribute in shaping the future of some of these content releases and beyond actually yeah so stick around uh we're going to be talking about a number of these updates the there's bank. not much to say on group i don't think they're going to do that just as a heads Sarah. up i know a lot of you are asking if there's going to be questions and on that if anything that they're just going to charge more for the for the bank uh, space later on uh, today though they've already been trying to do with uh, bonds and stuff hear more on sector of rebirth on osseus on mining and smithing uh, and a whole bunch more so stick around first up it's time to talk combat and a little bit more about those june and july updates we announced a few months ago see you in a sec Okay. All right, let me quiet this down for a little bit. So, I'm already impressed just from the very first, you know, new slide. They hit all three of the things I, I expected them to do, which is more 120 skills, Necromancy Part 2, more PVM content. Did they release anything in the in the really good section, I think? Player avatar rework, no. PvP rework, no. New bosses? They kinda did. Honestly, that the the new like that thing with like the triple boss fight, it basically sounds like it's raids. Now, is it gonna be as hard as raids? We'll see. If it's if it's freaking easy as frick, then it's not that great, right? Like it's it's just it's gonna be boring. People are gonna be done with it if after like a week. But if it's actually difficult, then they did hit the new boss and raids thing. Clan updates, no. Party finder, no. So honestly, we'll have to see how how challenging the new thing is, because I really really do not want it to be Raziel two, where Raziel is like the boss literally just gets farmed by 65% of the community getting like 40 kills an hour that, cuz that's that's not exciting that's just like you get bored of it after like 2 days so hopefully it's actually difficult and also the new drops with it like it's 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 interesting like what are they going to do with it you forgot about group iron man didn't think they would do it yeah i didn't think they'd do it either because I mean, we, we still don't know how they're going to implement it. Because I think it'd be really bad. See you guys Friday. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for coming, Sarah. Awesome chatting with you. And catch you next time. You've cleared up uh, so much space. <laughs> you have, Maria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, like, exactly. Exactly. You, you, if it drops tier 95, it shouldn't be easy. But then you look at Raziel, it's like, oh, 
Raziel literally drops seven tier 95s. Or, sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, the armor is tier 95 too. Drops seven tier 95s, and it literally, on release, was farmed to, to like, to nothing. Like, everyone farmed it. Surely they learned? Yeah, I hope they did learn too. I mean, they did, they did make Vorkath a lot harder, but they made Vorkath a lot harder in a bad way. Where it was very confusing to tell, like, where you just randomly die and stuff like that. So hopefully they don't do that either. What the heck is Group Iron Man? So Group Iron Man is a version of Iron Man mode where you, have, you start on a completely fresh new account. And Iron Man cannot trade with anyone. So a Group Iron Man is limited to where you can trade but only with each other so you're still like kind of an iron man but you but you play cooperatively so you can trade like resources and whatever pretty much anything that's tradable the thing that didn't make sense with rs3 group iron man before was that most of the end game gear was untradable especially once you start hitting all the degradable stuff and then everything that everything needs to be augmented like you can't trade that stuff Getting, getting perks, you know, like biting and stuff like that, it's so expensive to to make like four freaking biting four de demon slayers, right? And I guess you still could do that. Like they, they could, they could just not give a frick about the end game. I was gonna say that that if they wanted to make it unique, they should make it so you could trade the the augmented gear between the players. But they might not just do that. And you still just have to make, f like, four sets of gear for four people, or however big the group is. Which, in my opinion, kind of sucks. But it is what it is. We'll, we'll, we'll see more on that. And I'll be honest, I know a lot of people probably don't like the idea of Group Iron Man. Like, the, the the number of people that actually want to do it, compared to the player base as a whole, is not that big. But I do think stuff like Iron Man and Group Iron Man, it does... When you play it, it does accentuate what hey, is everyone, the most fun about RuneScape. To the show. It's about leveling, yeah, it's about had a lot of fun doing quests, it's about upgrading your account. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. And Iron Man uh, is a very fun way to, 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 to do that. Uh, and I think a lot of people, if you just tried it, it would actually be a lot of fun. It still it still wasn't everything, but like I, I'm not expecting everything, because they, they're, they're not going to be, they're not, they don't have the budget to do all these updates at the bottom. So I think overall, very solid roadmap. Like out of ten, if a ten of, if a ten out of ten, which is basically unachievable, is all of these things, I would still say that this is like, this is probably like a, just based off of concept alone, it's probably like an eight, honestly. Like sure, the stuff that that stuff the stuff that's actually on the roadmap could be implemented really awful, like horribly. And sure, like I I I'm not expecting it to be like perfect. But just from concept of the content in in the roadmap, I'd even I'd give it like an eight out of ten. So well done, Jagex. I have to give credit where credit's due. I don't know I don't know why you're not hiring new developers. I feel like if you had more developers, you could implement more content faster and at higher quality. Billion dollar company, but you know that's probably not your guy's fault. It's like the owner's fault or whatever.